Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a dry fly. And this is a diret. This was originated in Norway. That means the animal. The hook that I have in the vise is a lively leg slip splitter. 305 size 14 is a barbless dry fly hook. Standard length and warning extremely sharp. Thread I'm going to use is black, and this is a 12 aught. I'm going to go ahead and put a base of thread down. Bring that all the way to the back on the flat. And break off the excess. Now I'm going to come forward. I'm going to stay about one eye length from the eye of the hook. The reason for that base of thread is the first material going on is going to be deer hair. You use any any deer hair that you would make caddis from. This was originally designed, I believe, to imitate caddis. I think you'll be able to use it for any kind of for different kinds of uh, flies or different kinds of hatches because of the versatility of it just by putting a different color body on there I'm going to clean the deer hair you can see all of that that's loose uh, you got some the fuzz or the under hair and it took out a lot of the loose long hairs we're going to put this in our hair stacker put it in by the tips first of course you want to align the tips kind of want to loosen that up by tapping on it there If you leave that top part loose, it, it, it helps to do the same thing too. You can see them jostling all around there. Now I'm going to lift it slightly and then tap it again. And by lifting it, it gives me a little bit more of the hair to grab onto. Go ahead and take out any loose ones from that process. And because of this black tips on there, I'm going to make this tail to be the length of the hook shank. We're starting at the front. I'll bring my fingers all the way up to the front. I'm going to hold this tight. Make a loose loop, pull it straight down. Make another loose loop, pull it straight down. You want that to, to you want this hair to flare. And then we're going to go back on it, holding the material tight so it stays on top of the hook. I'm making pretty tight wraps. Got one that came around on me. I can't get a hold of it. We'll just get that when it does present itself. There we go. Scissors will take care of that one. We come back to the tail position. Just want to make sure that I got it tight on there. There we go. Now I'm going to put my hackle on. And what I'm using is a red furnace or a Coachman brown furnace. You can see the, the stem is black. And that's what I, the way I think about it is the furnace, that's the coal, and there's the fire. I'm going to go ahead and give this the crew cut. Stand them up at a 90 degree. Trim them off close to the stem. 
And then we're going to tie this in. We're tying this in with the shiny side to the hook or the convex side. Go ahead and tie that in. Come up front. I'm going to lift the head. And I'm going to wrap close. Wrap close on the hair on the head. And then I'm going to trim this off. And we're going to trim this off just like you would with any deer hair caddis or elk hair caddis. Leaving a nice head there. We're going to bring this thread back to the back once again. Now for the body you can use any, like I said, you can use different colors for different hatches. You can even use peacock, hurl, and a regular grizzly hackle and you'll make a, gri a grizzly or a griffith's gnat or a gnat diret. But I'm going to use olive and I'm going to take the olive to try to match that granny, hap granny apple caddis hatch. We're going to make a skinny noodle because the deer hair made a fat body already. Nice skinny noodle. Just stretch your dubbing and it will get that noodle very thin. I'm going to wrap that and come right up in back of the head. Now we're going to take our hackle. This is getting a little small. I'm going to put my hackle pliers on it. I could probably still get another fly, maybe even two out of this hackle, but and with that first wrap, because we left a little bit of that crew cut exposed, we don't get any hackle going towards the rear. We're going to palmer that hackle up the fly. Right up to the head. And we're going to tie that off there. That nice and there we go. Take that top hackle and kind of hold it out of my way there a little bit. Now, tying the head, instead of using my whip finish, I'm going to use a half hitch tool, like I do with most of my caddis. This allows me to get that thread underneath the head, just like that. Push that right up underneath there and then pull it back. This is actually getting that uh, hackle locked in there also because it's a the knot is coming right to the hackle. One more time. Push that in there and slide that off. And I'm going to take my poke and snip and I'm going to cut the thread. Now I'm going to cut the hackle. And it cuts nice and close. Now I'm going to take my scissors. First thing I'm going to clean up that head there a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to trim the bottom of the fly. Trim that right, right to the dubbing itself. And here we have a caddis diorette. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Please visit my eBay page if you'd like to purchase any flies from me. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.